Hello, my name is Dr. Carlos Guanche. I'm a shoulder specialist at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute with over 20 years of experience in shoulder replacement surgery. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the particulars about shoulder replacement surgery. The symptoms that patients should typically see a doctor for are increasing stiffness in the shoulder. A lot of patients have night pain that really doesn't get better with rest, eyes, anti-inflammatory medications, and many also have had several cortisone injections by other physicians. None of these treatments really improve their symptoms to any great extent. Those are probably the most common symptoms that we see. The most common patient that's treated for shoulder replacement surgery is the patient that has severe unremitting pain. In most cases, they have arthritis. Many patients, however, not only have arthritis, but also have a rotator cuff tear. In those situations, we'll need a slightly more complex procedure, which is called a reverse shoulder replacement. The difference between the standard total shoulder replacement and any reverse shoulder replacement is that in patients that require a reverse total shoulder, they both have severe arthritis as well as a rotator cuff tear that is unrepairable. In those situations, most patients have had several cortisone injections, they have a lot of weakness, and they've also had several courses of physical therapy that haven't really made any significant gains in their pain or their function. These really exhaust the non-surgical treatments. The advantages of a reverse total shoulder replacement are that patients who have se severe disability of the arm, which is something called pseudoparalysis, meaning that they can't really lift their arm above their shoulder, go from not being able to use their arm at all for simple things, such as even doing their hair or their makeup, to being really effectively able to move their arm above their shoulder. They are able to really do any lifting, all of their day-to-day -day activities, some of which they haven't really done in years. Once your physician has recommended shoulder replacement surgery, it's important to understand the principles of the procedure and be comfortable with going ahead with the replacement operation. Sometimes patients are overwhelmed by the thought of having metal parts within their shoulders. It's important to educate yourself. There are a lot of resources, including our website, that explains the procedure in much more detail. The typical recovery process for a standard shoulder replacement surgery is that patients come to the hospital in the morning. The surgery takes place, typically lasting about an hour. Patients are usually in the hospital overnight, and the next morning they begin using the arm effectively for eating, for paperwork, for computer work. They usually see us back in the office about 10 days later, and that's when we start physical therapy. That begins twice a week for about three months. By the end of three months, most patients are very happy with their function, and they're back to doing nearly all of their activities that they did before. Following the surgical procedure, along with physical therapy, it's also important to follow some of the guidelines that your physician will give you. Most of the time, we want to limit lifting and pushing and pulling to only very limited things such as about five pounds of lifting for the first four to six weeks until you have good control of the arm. It's also important not to do any fast motions as a result of some of the soft tissue healing that needs to take place. One of the most common questions that we have um, following shoulder replacement surgery is how long will my device last? The real answer really depends on how hard you use your arm. Most of the time, patients don't usually do a lot of weight lifting, a lot of heavy overhead uh, usage of the arm. Those are the types of things that tend to wear down the prosthesis. Most of the studies that are now looking at these types of devices that have been implanted for well over 20 years show that about 85% of patients are doing very well even at that time frame. To learn more about shoulder replacement surgery, please visit our website at www.scoi.com. Thanks very much.